Hello, regular size Rick, your favorite used car salesman. And today I want to show you what we got going on. We have our brand new show, Rick at Night. And we're going to be bringing out some really cool guests. But first, I want to introduce you to my partner, Iggy. What's up, my man? How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm really excited about some of the guests that we have today. Me too. First episode. Yeah, first episode. Like, they get that title. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about some of the guests today, but others probably not so much. So I'm going to let you decide which ones I don't like. So uh, without any further ado, Rick out. Come on, dude, you don't, you just gotta run over, man. It's okay, just keep it going if he's running past, it's funny. Let's go, let's go. Let's do it, my man. How you doing, Max? I'm doing great, man. This is a blessing to be here, man. Oh, Word man. Up. We are excited to have you. We're excited because today our A&R guy booked us a really cool treat. DJ Butter. How you doing, DJ Butter? I'm good. I'm good. DJ Thank you Butter. for having me. You know, I appreciate it. Dude, we're really, we're really excited to have you. You've done, I mean, for those of you out there that don't know DJ Butter, he's done some really cool stuff. Can you tell us who you've worked with? Uh, I did a lot of stuff with uh, D12 in the beginning of their career. Eminem, OB Trice, uh, Royce to 5'9". Um, man, uh, Chris Weber group when he, when he first dropped hip hop in Detroit, uh, No Coast. Um, corrupt from Dog Pound, Kooji Rap. Um, so yeah. you're basically saying that you put a little butter in everything, right? Yeah. You're yeah. clogging the veins of hip hop. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Right. <laughs> so I'm. That's why I'm really excited to talk to you about. It's what's really cool is we got him in here today because uh, Max I know is involved, and you know we're involved now with with an event that this guy puts on every year for the legend himself, Jay Dilla. So can you tell right. us a little bit about Dilla Day? Well, um, actually, I'm just trying to preserve my homeboy's legacy. You know, um, I'm real passionate about Dylan Proof and Blade and all these guys. Um, because we don't really turn the radio on and hear ourselves. So I just, I really want to keep pushing the trend to really support the support. You know what I'm saying? So Dylan was my friend, and I'm, I'm really trying to push his, his brand from here on out. You know, while I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? That is one of the greatest gifts you can give somebody is contribute to their legacy. You know, as a musician, as an artist, probably the most important thing is to make sure that your stuff lives on longer right, than you. Right. It's like your child. To us, like, I mean, it's like our kids. I mean, it, it, nothing makes me happier than thinking that somebody's going to be listening to or watching something that I'm doing after I'm gone. That just makes you that makes yeah. you live on. And really, you are doing that, and you're bringing uh, Jay Dilla's music to a whole other generation too. Right. So that I think that's absolutely incredible. Um, you know what, uh, Max Julian over here. So really quick, Max, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us how you're uh, working with Dilla Day? You know, gobble uh, that mic. Don't, yeah, get right up in there. Real. Yeah, close. right. Come on, make eye contact. You got this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Look, all right, you know, uh, you know, I'm dedicated to hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to be here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's a blessing that, uh, you know, I, I've had a chance to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, build a bond with, with DJ Butter. And I just, I'm here to pay my dues hip hop. I'm a hip hop artist. You know, I'm a radio show co host. You know, seeing the car on the Max Julian show, um, you know, I've, I've been paying, you know, I've just been around the scene, man. I've, I've been involved with hip hop since, you know, the mid to late 90s. And, mm -hmm. you know, I came, you know, I, I left, took a vacation. I came back and I'm just here to, you know, pay my dues, support hip hop, support my brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. And you ha actually you have hip hop in your blood. That's so right. who who is your uh, cousin? R.I.P. Big Proof. You know what I'm saying? D12, Shady Records, Iron Fist Records. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the mayor of Detroit, hip-hop, you know what it is. Mayor, hip-hop all around the world, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Big Proof, that's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? And he taught me, he taught me the ropes, man. He really took me under his wing, and he blessed me, man. And he was a friend of me. It wasn't anything superficial. This was mm -hmm. my brother, man. He, you know, he, he did a lot. You know, he <laughs> paid me to live in the studio. You know, I lived in the Pyrex, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know, my name is in the credits on D12 World. You know what I'm saying? He said my name on my, on my duties. I was in the studio when he recorded my duties. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and he really just, you know, I got to pick up his energy, man. He picked me up and put me on that mountaintop with him, man. And he changed my life. So, so what you're telling me is we have a lot 
of legacy at this table right now. Yeah. Yes, so bless you. That's, pre- that's pretty blessing. incredible to get, you know, yeah. all of this in one place yeah. to talk about music that we love that's and right. joke around a little bit. You know, um, I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. I think I've talked to you about it. You know who I used to work for, right? Who used to work yeah, for? Yeah, who I used to work for. Who do I work for now? I work for Victory Motors, <laughs> for Big Bob. So yeah. if you need a car yeah. and you need a quality pre-owned vehicle yeah. at a very low price, you come see your man, regular size Rick here. But I used to work for another guy. I used to work for uh, oh, Dr. Yeah. Dre. Remember that? Dr. Dre. Dre I, Beats yep. by Dre. So I was Word up. back in the day when Beats by Dre started. Um, I was the national rep, so I would go around to concerts and different events and sporting events and put those cool headphones on people's, you know, around their necks and take pictures. So that's what I used to do. So I got to really get a good crash course in the hip-hop community doing that, learned a lot of really cool stuff. Then when they sold the Apple, then I started doing this game. But, uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for, um, for the music, and I'm a musician myself, and uh, everybody in our company also plays music, most of us, but we have a good time with it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, let's talk a little bit more to Butter here, because I want to know some more things about you personally, bud, all right? Mm, okay. So, first of all, other than music, what are your hobbies? Uh, I, like, uh, I like basketball, of course. Mm. Um, I like reading a lot. Um, I used to do a magazine, you know, back in the days in high school it's called funky fresh in the flesh so i like i like to do that type of journalistic stuff you know that type of thing have you ever been camping no no i think would be really cool if we all went camping (laughs) together one time i'm just saying there's nothing like you know men in the woods have you ever taken a shit out in the woods, it's, it's <laughs> freeing. I have I have no idea oh, why you said that. We're gonna bring some ladies with us. That's for sure. Yeah, we'll bring some ladies <laughs> right. with us. We're not just gonna sit out there. But I, I want to know if you ever went camping. Now, here's well, another I thing. Out there digging, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea you what you're gonna say. Here, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna interrupt real quick. We're gonna go hole. back to camping. But this guy right here, Max Julian, he can talk for ten minutes and say one minute worth of substance. It's one of my favorite things ever. He is the greatest hype man ever. And Boom. seriously, this guy, he just what lots of words. Just this much point. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, yes, camping. I don't know where I went with that, but I wanted to know some other things. You said you, you're a writer, right? Yeah. You put on events, correct? Yes, yes. And um, back in the day, I used to work at a place called DJ Supply in Detroit. We had some of the, 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 the biggest, the baddest, the greatest uh, producers in Detroit, DJs, mm-hmm. that would come out. And when I told <laughs> these guys over at Pro and Lighting, which was DJ Supply, that I was talking to this guy today, they all went, no way, we used to sell stuff to him. <laughs> so that right there got me knowing who I was talking to again. Wow. Like, it was, it's pretty awesome. And we talked about it a little bit before he came up, he had shot there. <laughs> yeah, that place saved so, my life, man. I, uh, you know. Hustle on the street and then go there and invest in my, myself, you know, so. What was really it. cool is it's amazing whenever I talk to you vets from that went there, DJ Supply, they would say, you know, I would go over there, you know, play with the with the 1200s and learn how to scratch because I couldn't afford them at the time. But yeah. that's where I started. It's a really cool place. They still got a set of 1200s out for you. If you yeah, want to learn yeah. your trade, it's an amazing place. What, what's up, so, so, what you, man? We got that Woody Harrelson popping off, man. What you, you know how to get on the court and do your thing or something, man? I have no idea what he just said. Were you trying to play <laughs> He's talking me? about white yeah. men can't jump. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't, I can't jump at all. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, can't, I can't play basketball. I actually, um, I, I'm nearsighted, farsighted. I have flat feet, and I'm impotent. Mm, wow. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so yes, that's true. before this we move forward no here, we actually um, we were really excited to have you on, Butter. So we, we actually we, we all of our guests we that you know that we have that are our headlining guests, we give a, a gift to. We're okay. So we want to we want to bring a present to you. We um, Iggy, would it be okay if you put your headphones down <laughs> and grab the gift for uh, for Butter? <laughs> Thank hey, you. This is wild. okay. Sure. <laughs> so we, you know, because you are a living legend, and we have you under this roof, we thought it would be a good idea to give you a gift that means something—a little bit of DJ, a little bit of homemade, a little wow. bit of love, a lot of love. Steve, it's behind the Cadillac in here. Yeah, there it is. And um, yeah, so we hope you like it. All right. So uh, without further ado, hold on. Oh man, this is wild. All right, we got this. <laughs> I never get gifts. <laughs> what is oh that? my gosh! And wow, this is a DJ <laughs> award we made for butter. Wow, they are Beats headphones, a wow. sculpture made out of butter. 
And actually, um, we they didn't have wow. this much butter at the dollar store, <laughs> so it is margarine. So I, I hope that's okay that's with you. I hope you're not mad. But no, it's real. You can take it home if you want. Right, okay. Yeah. Man, I appreciate this, man. This is so, real dope. If it's okay, can you guys get some good shots of me with the butter wow. and the butter? I'm, wow. I can't believe y'all did this. It, you got to go a little extra. You would be surprised how difficult it is to find a trophier that will make that. Wow. Butter on butter on butter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna say thank you to DJ Butter. Thank you all. Thank you. And we're going to say, please, come to Dilla Day. When's Dilla Day, guys? Dilla Day is um, February 9th. So that's on a Sunday at the Marble Bar. Dilla Youth Day is February 8th in Highland Park at Avalon Village. And who should we be excited about seeing? Who are your favorites? Well, uh, my favorite is Detroit Hip Hop. Everybody from Detroit, man, I, I just love to get a guy's opportunities. And, you know, that's my favorite. You know what I'm saying? Just anybody, Guilty Simpson, Fat Cat, you know, Slum Village, all them guys are my favorites. You know what I'm saying? So I love Detroit Hip Hop. We love you, man. Love so. Her. Thank you so much for coming today. We'd love to have you back, you know, maybe in a couple months. Yeah, yeah. And I'll and I'll find a. No, I'll make you something. Again, <laughs> this right? is wild. All right, cool. So uh, we'll see you after these messages. <laughs> Get this car new at the dealer. Oh yeah. You got the Emmy in the big screen. Oh yeah. Did you know you could get this car for a half price at Victory Motors? What? Victory Motors has Metro Detroit's best selection of one or two year old vehicles for up to half the payment of new. And we'll get you the lowest payment possible and on the road in less than an hour. It's that easy. If you don't buy your next car at Victory Motors, you're throwing money out the window. The best cars, the lowest prices, always Victory Motors. I appreciate All right, it. Thank, thank you for coming. Wow. All right. So be careful. Don't get the butter. Look no, at this. Try not to touch. Yeah, try yeah. to touch anything yeah. that's yellow. My don't car touch gonna it. be fucked up, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's gonna melt by the time he gets to his house. Look at this shit. It's, it's all over. Fun. Okay. It's just gonna be a fucking pair of headphones. Oh my gosh. Are we? Are we on? <laughs> Okay, so we just got done with the butter fiasco. We had a great time with DJ Butter. Um, we, there's butter over all over everything. <laughs> yeah, what, well, what did you expect? You made a fucking trophy out of butter. <laughs> uh, what I expect is the best, and we have the best. So we're going to bring out a couple more guests right now. We got, uh, we got our friend Max Julian's going to stay up here because we got to talk to him about some other stuff. Let's bring on the beautiful, the lovely Carmen. Carmen. Woo! Where in the world is Carmen? <laughs> now, Carmen, do me a favor and don't touch this because you're gonna get butter all over yourself, okay? Maybe we'll she clean wants it up later. Maybe she wants the butter. Maybe she wants. I know. So, <laughs> Carmen, you like butter? Yeah. All right. It's a little fattening though. So. Uh, <laughs> but I love it on my popcorn. I love it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I She'll, be great. Wait. She'll get mad at me. <laughs> but hey, I love DJ Butter. You know, there he's you an go. icon. You know. So this is Carmen. Carmen is on a show with Max Julian. Max, Carmen, tell us what you guys do. Well, we have a show entitled The Carmen and Max Julian Show on eighty-eight point one FM. That's right. <laughs> I've been on that show with That's, you guys. Yeah, you have. I was blown away. You guys got some really good guests on that show. So this show is about giving artists, all artists, recognition. Everybody gets recognition because throughout this world or the city, you know, people, is a lot of talent in Detroit, and a lot of people don't get the recognition or even get the opportunity to showcase their talent. So that's what the show is based upon. And that's awesome. You guys, you guys are, you guys are Detroit, like Little Caesars Pizza. Of course. Fago. Of course. And better made potato chips. You know, I grew up in music. My uncle yeah. was a famous jazz artist, Milt Jackson, the modern Ooh. jazz quartet. And he always taught me, you know, coming up as a kid, you know, I don't care how big you get, always remain humble yeah. and treat people with respect. So that's how I kind of came up with that concept. Everybody gets it. recognition. Stay humble and kind. Humble and kind. And, and, and song. you guys are very <laughs> humble and kind. That's why we were excited to have you guys on today. Word. Now, I do have a question. What the hell are you drinking, Iggy? What is that? Oh, uh, this is, uh, lim uh, it's a French <laughs> imported beer. <laughs> yes, uh, it's called uh, Le Manche, Les Enfants, <laughs> Un Mivre de Bois, uh, which in English is uh, hams. Ham, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you went so classy today. Yeah. Oh. That's great. 
Well, um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually, I'm going to have these guys uh, uh, do a little bit um, of an introduction to who else we have today. Um, do, you know, do you know who we have today? Do, do you know uh, the other artists we got going on? Yeah, yeah. So tell me about him. Is he, isn't he good? Oh, yeah. He's very, very good. How about good. good looking? Is he good looking? Of course. He's a handsome young man. Oh, yeah. Is he a little cutie pie? I love it. Do you, cutie pie. Would it, be cool to get him, would, it, would it be cool to get him up here? Would it be all right? Absolutely. Come on up. Why don't, why don't you uh, pull up your chair? Bring up your chair, sit next to Max, all right? Let's do this. VC beats in the building. There we go. You know what I'm talking about? Ivory VC. This is, where, this is where music will play. Like, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, I'm excited to have this guy. I learned a lot about him today. He actually, he worked for the Detroit Pistons, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, bring it in. So tell that's us a little bit about yourself. What up, though? My name is Violent Content, a.k.a. VC Beats. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I specialize in conscious hip hop, hip hop, and lyricism. I really just try to uh, raise uh, awareness on social issues through my music and the entertainment arts. This is a little bit about you know my history. Um, I started out in college, uh, just opening a media company to kind of support my endeavors, um, and that led me to the opportunity to uh, intern for 50 Cent and G-Unit Records, where I would produce a lot of content for their website. Wow. So, <clears throat> you know, that would entail of uh, conducting interviews with artists in the music industry. I worked with everybody from Big Shine to 50 Cent himself. Uh, it was a great experience. You know, I had to put in a lot of hard work, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Um, and so, the so what you're telling me is we've had a lot a lot of contact with some really influential, important people, right? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's incredible, connect. right? Yeah. yeah, I think it's cool. I'm going to keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> um, it, actually, this is a very classy beverage. This is actually on our honeymoon, me and Carmen. Mm -hmm. We sip this um, on the beautiful beaches of the Poconos. Oh. Um, it is a, what's it, Bud Light Lime Arita. Strawberry, strawberry Arita. Arita. Get it, uh, I'm sorry. You gotta get it right. And now. like I said earlier, if you drink too many of these, what do you get? What? I feel good. You're, I get diarrhea from too much lime. Arita. I feel good. So, I mean, that's just what happens. So we're really excited to have you. Um, I know Max Julian has a pretty cool uh, uh, music background. Have you guys ever done a track together? No, nah, but it's definitely in the works. You know, uh, Max Julian, he got an EP that he's working on. And we gonna, we want to put together something positive that's going to help the community. So I like we're definitely it. been talking about it. Word up. Absolutely. I got to see. I got to get on the uh, track with y'all. Woo-woo. That's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be freaking amazing. I love it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know, right now I'm, I'm trying to get, I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, I gained about 20 pounds this, this winter. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Uh, no, nah, what's well, the secret? So, what's the secret? I've been just eating a lot. So, because uh, I'm a fat ass, but I gained 20 <laughs> pounds. And uh, some people, they want to gain the weight. Me, not so much. Uh, what was it? Uh, last year, I weighed uh, probably around 270. So, I got down, and now I'm like probably 220, but I was around 200 hey, before. You out here in the world, with all these beautiful girls, man. You need the laxative diet. <laughs> well, look, hey, let me, yeah. let me, you know, I used to work out, like, I used to work out heavy, man. I was huge, man. Yeah. I was still rock solid, man, quiet as kept. And let me tell you, this is what I learned, man. Yeah, yeah. Your diet is first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Diet is number one. Number Big one. one's cardio. I see you out here. I seen that post of you out here. It was wintertime, man, and that was, that was motivation, man. Yeah, that was. You out here running in the snow. That was dope. I like mm -hmm. that. Thank you. So, you know, you got diet, then you got cardio. Yeah. Then you got calisthenics. Calisthenics more weight what is, is the least important. Oh, weight is that's for definition. But this is yeah. I man, listen, I was huge, man. I could have, I could have gotten the bodybuilding, man. Like I, you know, I. But like what I wanted to just tell you, man. <laughs> you know, I, I, I admire what you were doing, seeing you out here running like yeah. that in the snow, man. That's hard to the core, man. That's that devil dog, okay. marine mentality, dog. Okay. You know, say that. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that. You know what I'm talking about? So it's diet, Did you get that? right? Diet is not. Hold one. on, let me let me do it so I can remember. Okay. So it's diet, it's cardio. And then it's contraceptive. Uh, Those close. are the three things you need to get hard. Calisthenic. Right? That's what you said. You want to get hard like Max Julian? Contraceptive, 
diet and cardio. No, I love just it. Get you some rhinos, I, man. I got, we'll a, I got, a, I got a cheat code for like the diet, cause like I'm very what? lazy and I hate the taste of vegetables. Oh yeah, and the I'm game too lazy for to diets. prepare my fruit. <laughs> so what I do is I take like some baby spinach mm, and then okay. I cut up some fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, and I put it in a blender with some protein and yeah. I drink it every morning. It's just the same as eating fruits and vegetables. I'm down with that, but I like to. I like um, you, the baby spinach, right? Yeah. I like to wait till the spinach turns 18. For first you know <laughs> so i wanted to tell you guys though like i'm really excited because i ordered this uh, american flag speedo i i think steve knows about this right probably i am actually not as worried about my weight as i am another thing i have very large nipples it's true mm. so actually um, my, i went to my doctor i said it's what true, can you do about this and the and they actually they ellipse at the center it looks like a venn diagram um, it's pretty, it's pretty disturbing, but he actually has a medical term for it when he told me, because some people have had this before. It's called areola grande. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try to get them reduced. Um, that's my first plan. So that's what I'm working on. Steve, uh, what are you doing to try to stay in, in shape lately? Because it looks like you're doing uh, it. It's called uh, lying to my face in the mirror. Okay, so you, you basically lie to yourself. You yeah, tell yourself. No, you look I, good. I look at myself okay. in the mirror and I'm like, damn, you look good. I've never met a and guy. And then, like, in the back of my, you know, like, there's the back of your mind. There's also, like, a back, back of your mind. So, later on with the magic of video, I might post a before <laughs> and after shot of Steve. Steve is probably, what was it, like, year to year, he'll be this, this size, and then next year, he'll look like Fred Savage. It's true. Because he'll, he'll go from 160 pounds to three, then 160 pounds. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like your heart must love you. Well, I did just start a new blood pressure medication, it's, which it's, is true. It's called uh, being an adult. But uh, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So so real quick, I'm going to do a couple of plugs. I wanted to say, uh, because we have Dilla Day coming up, please uh, check out Dilla Day. There's a lot of really cool artists. Uh, who are some of the really cool artists, Max Julian? Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, well, you know, you got Guilty Simpson. You know Get what right saying? into that Shout mic. Guilty, Guilty Simpson. Simpson for the almighty dreadnoughts. You know what I'm talking about? Word up. These, these are some of the people I grew up with, man. I came up with, man. You know, I don't know if you know. I, I might need an interpreter for you uh, for you to understand <laughs> what I'm saying, man. No, I'm right here, dude. I'm right Word here. Up. I'm right here. Yeah, talk yeah, right directly here. to, to oh, Iggy, no. and then he'll relay it to me. So dig this. Okay, we got Guilty Simpson. So listen here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got Fat Cat. You know what I'm talking about? Fat Cat. Word okay. up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, uh, 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 uh. You know, um, um, to the um, family, you know what I'm saying? The Slum Village family, man. Mm. And uh, R.J. Rice, man, and everybody that's been doing over there, B.R. Gunner, you know what I'm saying? That's all the family that, you know, they came up under Dilla. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been over there, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, everybody from T3, everybody, man. I came up with these brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? I come from the Proust Wing or whatever, but I still had ch a chance to, to really, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, take in these brothers' energy, man. This is real hip-hop, man. So, like I say... There's an abundance. There's DJ Lowe, going to be there. DJ Butter going, you know what I'm saying? He going to lay it down. He's he raising his hand. Oh, you trying to talk? He got okay, a question. Right. He's got a question. <laughs> so, um, hey, you got to talk about hip-hop, dog. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's first first time time call, I do have a, you know I do have a question for you, Max yeah. Julian. Is, um, what was his name? Uh, Rice? Well, R.J. Rice? R.J. Rice. I think I know, I think I know him. Is he, uh, um, I think I know his uncle, um, Uncle Ben. Oh. Do you know him? Jeez. Yeah. Boom. Oh, jeez. Low hanging fruit here for regular size Rick. So go to Dilla Day. I am um, everybody's, well, hopefully everybody's favorite car salesman here in the Metro Detroit. Actually, I'm everybody's second favorite car salesman. The guy who you want to know is named Big Bob. You've probably seen many of his commercials. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to cut to his commercial. If you don't know him, you're going to know him now. Rocks TV. Big Bob, let's check him out. What are you doing? I'm throwing money out the window. You should have gone to Victory Motors. Victory Motors has Metro Detroit's best selection of one or two year old vehicles for up to half the payment of new. If you don't buy your next car at Victory Motors, you're throwing money out the window. Oh, hey guys, how are you? Um, so if you guys have never seen Big Bob before, you just did. Big Bob is a legend in the city. He's been doing this stuff for over 30 years. He has been bringing quality pre-owned vehicles to you. Interesting fact about him. 
he is my uncle. He is my Uncle Bob. He acts like that at Christmas and all holidays. He is an insane man. It's true. But he has a real soft underbelly. You just got to find it. It's right under here. It's completely hairless. You got to rub it counterclockwise, and he'll do whatever you want. That's, That's how you get a good deal on quality pre-owned vehicles. But if you want to come here and see me at Victory Motors in Royal Oak, we can totally do that. I will buy you coffee. Come hang out with us. That's my last plug so the producers don't throw me off the air. So let's talk about some normal stuff today, guys. So, uh, yeah, what, what do you guys got going on in your life right now? What's going on, Carmen? Let's see it. Oh, boy. I'm trying to complete my project and get it done by... What kind of project? CD. My CD mm, with some CDs. original materials. Shiny? You said you're oh. doing CDs, very shiny CDs, right? Yeah, they very shiny, very, very shiny. Very shiny CDs. Yeah, we know. got... Um, <laughs> what else you got going on? You, do, you, do you subscribe to anything on, online? Do you get anything sent to the house? <laughs> Oh, yeah, like, subscription tricks packages. Or treats. Tricks or treats? <laughs> no. You know, uh, you know they, they actually have a, uh, a subscription where ladies can get uh, flashy underwear in the mail. You know that once a month? Do they really? Oh, yeah, they do. They oh, have that. see, I might question that. I got to view my stuff. I got to size it up and look at it, you know, because when they be selling stuff, I want to make sure it's... What's incredible is they have a service that will send ladies fresh underwear every month, but they also have a service that will send Asian men... Soiled underwear every month, no. so um, no. it's kind of something they're into. It's pretty cool. That's don't. I haven't launched it yet. Okay, all right. don't talk about that. <laughs> right. Steve is the one wearing the underwear. Don't See, order this service. That's Listen, that's a good yeah. idea. We'll talk about that later. What do you got going on, buddy? Well, uh, right now I'm working on my album, The Exorcism. Uh, I'm trying to get it wrapped up by uh, April release date. Um, I also got a web series uh, that wow. I've been producing since <clears throat> last summer called Foot in the Door. Mm. And uh, basically, it's just me as an inspiring rap artist, networking with established rap artists, asking them for advice. I got a real cool episode where Waka Flock of Flame, I was asking him for some advice about moving to Atlanta. Yeah. And he put me on blast. He was like, why you want to rap? Rap right now. If you rap about partying or selling drugs, I'm going to throw your CD out the window. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like a real cool episode, man. So um, I got an uh, episode with Big Sean on there, too. So, yeah, man, I actually had wanted to spit a rap, man. I had wanted to because, you know, I, I tried to apply to Summit Place Kia to get a car, and they rejected me, and it really pissed me off. So I wanted to know if I could spit a rap to... Victory Motors and see if y'all can help me out to okay. know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, can you? If you write a rap for Victory Motors, I will I will boost it and I will put it on the site. <laughs> I got if you, you can if you can rap about selling cars, I think it'd be great. And if it's badass enough, I will have an awesome hype man named Big Bob back you up and do all your, <laughs> you know, ad lib stuff. It'll be great. It'll be nice. Hey, what's wrong with him? He didn't go to Victory Motors. Oh. Victory Motors has Metro Detroit's best selection of one or two year old vehicles for up to half the payment of new. If you don't buy your next car at Victory Motors, you're throwing money out the window. Uh, Rocks TV, let's talk a little bit about Rocks TV. But uh, Rocks TV, we do uh, music, we do comedy, we do media, we even do some commercial stuff. We're working on a project right now. If you guys check out my pin right here, this is the Mysterious Movado. And the Mysterious Movado is a wrestler at International Big Time Wrestling. And we are doing the live stream for International. International Big Time Wrestling. In the next couple weeks, we will be having one of the International Big Time Wrestling pioneers here and talking to him about what they do. So we're going to have a good time. Maybe we'll hit them with some, some chairs, throw some tacks down. I really want, I'm not a wrestler. I actually have a really bad back, but I would like somebody to throw me. It'd be worth it. As long as you get it on camera, I'm cool with it. So we're going to be doing that next week. Um, we're going to be checking that out. Um, we have a couple other guests I can't tell you about, but we're going to have fun, and we're going to have really good gifts, so you're going to want to tune in. Um, and I also want to give a plug for our friends over at the coolest sneaker shop, uh, Burn Rubber, here in Royal Oak. They actually have the first. This is crazy. Have you guys been there before? Man, shout out to Rose Spit and Burn Rubber, man. Oh, my gosh. So, apply his gear. Dude, he's, he, okay, his store is amazing. He is the only only sneaker shop that has a uh, uh, drive through window, like a, uh, four hot shoes. There is a circle around the building when the new shoe comes out with teenagers out there being jerks, waiting for the newest shoe. It's pretty sweet. A mm. uh, drive through Yeah, it's, I, I can pull Well, up. you can't drive, but you, it's a walk-through. Uh, so we're going to cut to another commercial. Is that okay, Mr. Bob Rocks? And then we're going to bring on the man, the myth, the legend, Bob Rocks, to give final thoughts. Shout out to Rocks TV. Rocks TV. Oh, oh Rocks yeah. TV, baby. I've had a poop for like an hour. 
We have a street today to see who can tell the difference between this new and this used car. This one has all-wheel drive and Bluetooth. So does this one. This one's turbo and leather. So is this one. This one's white. So, so what's the, the difference? The payment. Victory Motors has Metro Detroit's best selection of one or two-year-old vehicles for up to half the payment of new. And we'll get you the lowest payment possible and on the road in less than an hour. It's that easy. If you don't buy your next car at Victory Motors, you're throwing money out the window. Oh, dude, that was gross. So we actually have a toilet right next to the studio, and you can hear everything that's going on. So we can give you the play-by-play -play in a second. Can we take one of the mobile rigs up to the oh. up to the door? Is that cool? No? OK. So um, really quick, if you could fix a mic real fast, Mr. Bob Rocks, I want to introduce the guy who brought us here today, the guy who owns all the equipment and has the flashy site. His name is Bob Rocks, and also known as Skinny Lee. So without further Skinny ado, Lee. when he can get his ass over here, <laughs> Here he man, is. What he got that name, man? There we go. Let's, <laughs> let's give him a nice yeah. 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 What's up? What's up? Squeezy, I'm not that skinny. <laughs> <laughs> my dog. So, uh. so Bob Rocks, what's up, my man? Hold on, I gotta feel like Steve. I got the headphones. All on. right. I am in charge of this ship with multiple consoles. Dude, talk to him. hey, you're like a Star Trek guy. Oh, definitely. I'm red shirt. You are red. Oh, be careful. I'm going to die before the end of this episode. You know Picard, hey, hey, yo, Picard dropped today? Moment. Yo, yo, yo. I got to make sure I say this, too. Shout out to my dog, Trey Pound. You know what I'm talking about? Word up. We're up there getting it in. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? It's the Hip Hop Unity Project. What exactly Project. are you talking about? It's Max about? Julian. You know what I'm saying? Because Rocks TV, you know what I'm saying? He shot the Grand Theft Auto Murder City video. That's the man behind it right there. Shout out to the psychopathic family. Shout out to my dog, Trey Pound. Be holding it down. Rock Hill Sound. You know what I'm saying? Go get that album re -amp. You know what I'm talking about? I'm on it, too. You know what I'm saying? Grand Theft Auto Merced Unity. You how many hip-hop unity project? We in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, how, how, many, how many hashtags would that be? <laughs> uh, that would, that would, that would yeah. Yeah, be way too many for Facebook, Max right? Max Julian is the king of hashtags. He is the king of hashtags. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to need a hash pipe for those hashtags. It's exactly. a lot, man. You're burning He's through them. He's a cash dealer. Skinny Lee. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, you, let me tell you something, man. The Fuck the Fuck Off motherfucker tour was one of the dopest experiences I had in my life. And you know, Bobby and I, we rode together and see Bobby, what do I got still right here? Huh? What are my favorite two? Look, look at that. Ain't that something? Gives you wings. <laughs> I don't think he needs wings. Man. And make you fly. <laughs> he is flying 24 7. Mm. Man, that man's got more energy. Like, seriously, it's crazy. I love it. Wow. Yeah, it's been a year since the tour, and uh, it was a good time, you know? Hell yeah. Was, yeah. yeah I'm going to give Steve his seat back. Yeah, he's standing there like, uh, oh, like Bob, a dog. Oh, man, said the wrong name. Where, oh, where am I? Bo Bobby, thanks for coming up. So this oh, is yeah, the guy. Yeah. This is the guy who owns everything. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Everything. Give it up for Bob. There we Bob, go. I have one question yeah. before you go, if yeah. you don't mind. You got to talk into the mic. Nobody's going to oh. hear you. Skinny Lee. Oh, yeah. Say Skinny Lee, though. I got one question Skinny before Lee. you go. Like, what, what advice could you offer to uh, other inspiring media moguls, if we want to call it that? What would you say <laughs> about your expertise in the building and things you've experienced? Do not quit. It's yeah. one of those things that uh, you're going to have ups and downs. And, it, and I compared it to hunting earlier. You can go out mm. and expect to get some good footage, some good interviews. You can come back empty-handed. You might come back with something that's not what you wanted. But when you come back with that awesome interview, like you, I'm sure you felt when you got the Waka Flocka or the Big Sean you mentioned earlier, mm. I'm sure you went home feeling like you you know, bagged a trophy. Conquered like, the world. You know what yeah. I mean? So it, I, my advice to up and coming people, if they want to get there and they want to get a chance to get on screen with their heroes, never quit. Just keep doing it. Yeah. And keep trying to improve yourself, though. Literally, like, when the audio's bad, the next time, fix that problem. When the mm -hmm. video's bad, next time, fix that problem. Everything you should make should be better. And I think if yeah. you look from my thing, it, it, you know, quality-wise, it would go up, 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 every video, concluding this one to the next one. So. Yeah. Hey, thank you for that. And I have another important yeah, question right? to ask Bobby while he's here. Yeah. So for, for an inspiring artist as such as myself, um, what, what is a mogul? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea what he, what he was talking about. But thank you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. So let's get Steve on here because um, there, uh, today hey, is a want, special now, day. Bobby, you know, dysfunctional family, man. I want you to say something about that, man. <laughs> I used to be... 
part of a family of two, and uh, we did rhyme things on uh, instrumentals, and we called it music, and we put out a couple albums. I love it. Dysfunctional uh, family, they don't uh, too. Like, Book them. Very, very early, like 2000 to 2003-ish, and we were produced by Trey Pounds. And, Word uh, up. We play with a lot of underground artists here in Detroit, and uh, but we were crazy. Like, you know, we we may have thrown salad on the crowd. And <laughs> wow! So you 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 essentially no dressing. Or not? Oh, no dressing. Well, well, you I'm essentially dressing. tossed oh, the salad oh, of your audience. I, I love may it. have tossed salad of my audience while screaming, "I'm fat, bitch! I'm fat." I love you. I love it. So um, that's oh, absolutely incredible. We're gonna get Steve, we're gonna get Iggy back here because we we need to we need to do something real quick. But uh, I think that's absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am also a musician. I was saying that earlier. I play drums, guitar, bass, and, uh, and I also program beats. And um, yeah, so but here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am actually, and I think I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I'm a very very good lyricist uh -oh. and rapper. Hey, hey. But the problem is, is that. The things that I rap about, I've realized, okay? So I, I took my music and I gave it over to, you guys will get to meet him later, Trey Pound. I was like, Trey, I got this great shit. And I showed Iggy, Iggy's like, yeah, it's really cool, really cool. Everybody's telling me it's great. It's like, you ever see those people on American Idol where it's like their family's telling them how awesome they are? And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And they get in front of like, you know, what's his name, Simon? And he's like, you fucking dog shit, quit. <laughs> so, like, I gave him music to uh, Trey Pound. I'm like, I'm really excited. I was like, yeah, I want you to produce this. And I gave it to him. He's like, super excited. And here's the thing. <laughs> he was excited, so it made me excited when I handed it to him. Did you know who he was when you handed it to him? Yeah, I did. I knew you who he was. Sure. Yeah, no, I, did. I was. I was like, this is gonna be awesome, you know, because he, Trey's worked on some cool stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. L. yeah. So I was. I was really excited about it. I was like, here you go. And uh, um, I was. Uh, I gave it to him. And then I, I, I. A couple days later, he didn't call me. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Crazy. You know what? I'm gonna wait another day. <laughs> so I waited another day, and I called him. I was like, so what'd you think? What can we oh. work on? And he's like. Maybe something <laughs> else next time? I'm like, what? So let me break this down for you. Every time people meet me, because I do comedy, they think that my music's going to be really fucking funny. Because that's the one thing he said that really scared me right before he walked away. He goes, I'm really excited to hear this. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Crickets. Fuck. My shit's not funny at all. I, okay, so I'm going to open up this box. I'm very good at writing and lyrics really fast. But I write about shit like global warming. And I guess that did not jive with him. <laughs> he's like thinking, oh, it's gonna be funny. And then he's here and it's like, it sounds like a Greta speech. You know what I mean? Like, like Greta Thornburg, you know, but a rap. And he's just like, I knew what he's listening to. He's like, oh fuck, what is going Are you on? Are you serious? Bro? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> and I do, and I, all my beats I ain't are mad at that, though. majority of them are like you know 8 bit, so they sound like like old Nintendo games. Shout out to the oh, game. weird oh. shit, you know. Yo, but keep it green. Hey, I, I want to check that saying? out, man. I'll show it to you. you can, maybe, maybe you maybe green you can, is the way to go. I have you know this guy produce it. <laughs> it's not funny though, not at all. Okay, so uh, real quick, I need to do something. Um, we're going to uh, 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 tomorrow is is a big day. I, d I don't know if you guys know this, but tomorrow is a pivotal day. I'm going to get really, really, really uh, serious now. Tomorrow is Iggy's birthday. Who? Uh -oh. Iggy, the guy oh, next oh. to you. Oh, I got birthday, some. I got buddy. some stuff under here. Hold so on. So we're going to start partying tonight. What strip club are we going to? Oh my gosh. Okay. A good one. That's right. Let's go. So first, <laughs> going? for the rest so of the segment, to, uh, Iggy, uh, 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 I got you this beautiful. Oh, what the fuck wild is this? <laughs> beautiful <laughs> party hat. Party hat. Give me that. <laughs> And because he's the love of my life, sorry, honey. <laughs> I got him you some flowers. Uh, and then, actually, you know what? Fuck it, I'm giving those to Carmen. This goes to you, Steve. There you go. Love. Oy. Because, oy. because yeah, it love. is. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, because oy. it is February's coming up, and that would be the month of VD. You're going to read the month oh. of chlamydia. Here you go, Carmen. 
I got these from the dollar store. <laughs> it doesn't matter they got them from the dollar store because no, there I'm isn't double. there isn't a bouquet of flowers that is oh, beautiful oh, enough. Beautiful. Thank it's you a guys. symbol, no problem. Yeah. Oh, so, so happy birthday oh, man, I told you we to were Steve. Steve. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Iggy. We can't finish that song because there's a woman in Iowa who owns the rights. Yeah! So, thank you very much, Iggy. I, I, I think we're, we're pretty close to being done because it's kind of falling apart, but I want to thank you guys for coming to our first episode. We're going to have a good time. we got more, more uh, guests coming. I promise you, next time, um, I, Iggy will look better. He will have lost 10 pounds. I will have lost 20. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you. Uh, Rocks TV, Victory Motors. We got Burn Rubber. We got all you guys. Buy a car from me. Buy six cars from me. I love you. Listen to these guys. And I think, are we out, guys? We out. So we want to the car. Yeah. Right, oh, let's go. Enjoy this video from RocksTV.com. Make sure you follow Rocks TV on Facebook and YouTube. If it's underground, we're there.